Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky. If you missed the previous episode, we found this really cool planet and we wanted to explore it on a full episode with you guys because it's really stinking awesome. But as we're mining this indium, all of these uh, stupid dum-dums are getting real mad at us because Christian is constantly getting attacked by them for some odd reason. Yeah, they just want to kill me. And we're trying to get some indium. I mean, you could get activated indium in the system. But if you missed the previous episode... Uh, we explored all the different colored stars to try to show Ow. you guys what the best stars to go to to find your favorite planets are. We're currently in a blue system, right? Yeah, we're in a blue system. We're in blue a blue system, system right now. Blue star system, that's why we're flying indium. Yep. Um, but we found this really cool erased planet. It is... Yeah. It is just something else. Like, I don't... If you're not... No. Sorry, I haven't really taken the time to look around, but look around. Yeah. It looks like we might not be the only ones who were here. There's something like, uh, I feel like maybe it's some type of Easter egg thing from the developers, like literally like an erased planet, like they erased a planet to a degree and this is what happens like when, you know, like the planet gets erased or something. I don't know. Yeah, hey, I man, I don't know. You know what I, I mean? Know like either. it's it's like breaking down and things are floating and they're not working properly. It's like broken code. That's kind of what it gives me the vibe of. Yeah. Like broken code, but like this is like pretty much all the planet has. Gosh, these I big these giant weird drugs. pillars. Would stop shooting me so I could take a cool picture. You want me to kill him? No, because that'll just make it worse. You're right. What is this right here? Condensed carbon? Nice to have. Boom, take a quick shot of that. It's like the Grand Canyon. That. Is it? You got some oh, yeah. time look. Well, and really, also but... in this system, we forgot to mention, is a decomposing. Uh, space station. Yep. Which yeah, is also something. Whoa, look at that. that out after. But yeah, it took, a, it took a little snapshot of that. Let's get one of the two of us together. That's a sight. I'm going to take a picture too. Hey, right, hold on. I'm going to get it. Get it from the front. Good one. I want to stand next to one of these things. Whoa, you just ditched me? I did. What if we fly on top of one? Rickety. Ooh, good idea. Hut. Get your butt up here. <sighs> Can't take a fun picture together. I don't want a picture with you. Wow, that's so mean. You're stinky and you haven't showered. Hut. Hut. Oh, yeah, I back like to that. Back. Charlie's angels. I'm not back to back. Face, face the way I'm facing. I have a good picture here. Oh gosh. It's a nice Wait, picture. You, know what you gotta do? You gotta do that. There you go. Yeah. Problem is we're like floating on it. Yeah. Take it from a little bit below and you I was taking it from like far away. Yeah, that was nice. Okay. This is so cool. I haven't found one of these planets before. I assume this is kinda like what we found with that glass planet, the bubble planet. It was pretty much like this, but bubbles. So Definitely something cool. I really want to check out that uh, broken down space station. I don't know about you. I want to float around here a little bit. Just fly around, do a little quick circle. Yeah, I mean, have you? We didn't even like. Did you even inspect these? Did you scan them? I didn't actually. It's floating things. They just like they just give you ferrite dust. They don't give you anything crazy. Yeah, just special. pure ferrite. Oh, some of them give ferrite dust. Some of them give pure. But these guys on the ground give pure, I think. Like what's this? Or do they both give little... dust? What are these little things on the ground here? Both give like, dust. Yeah, little like metal broken pieces. Yeah, just ferrite. That's why I was saying like it kind of reminds me of like broken code, you know? Like an erased yeah. planet, like it erased and there's like floating rock over here and everything. Kind of reminds me of Transformers. Dense carbon. Just, just like a tech planet. Yeah, I get. yeah. That makes and sense just, too. And, like, an, like an extinct tech planet. I suppose, yeah. Let's give it a good. I'm gonna give it a good float just to see if there's anything like really outlandish that will come Dude, across. Like, imagine if we just find like a functioning trading facility. I know. I want to scan it a couple times. Are you doing? You going, going doing the signal booster? No, I'm scanning in my ship. Uh, just gonna do a couple float buys, do a couple scans. Gotcha, gotcha. If I see some silver material, we can get. Whoa! <gasps> what? What is this? Where'd you go? What? Where'd you go? I'm in awe. What is this? What is it? I don't know. 
I'm Scan coming to you. And Ada corrupts. Excuse me? Data corrupts. Oh. Label Hanasung building. You'll see you'll see it when you get over here. Is it this giant circle? The giant spinning portal circle? Ow, uh, God, I blew right into it. Look at that. Yep, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Good thing we searched the planet a little bit more, gee whiz. I'm just gonna take another picture. The uprinked quick. flats. I know, right? It's like, well, screw the picture I had before. I'm just gonna <laughs> take another one real quick. Oh, look at that. I just I just look up real quick too. Huh, the what? The rings of that planet through the atmosphere color. Oh yeah. This is like wow. a like an abandoned portal or something? It looks like it like whole ships could fly through that. Should we try flying through it? I mean, we Maybe should. Maybe it'll teleport sure. us. Yeah. Is there a way to talk to it or something? Oh look, some sentinels showed up. What a surprise! <laughs> some sentinels show up to shoot you in the butt. What a surprise! No, there's no way to like do anything to it. I don't think. Uh, it doesn't look. I like think, it. like you said, it's just like an old tech planet that probably like advanced too much for its own good or something. You know what I mean? Uh, yep. Got to jump. Got to jump out of here. Sorry. Bye, sentinels. All right. I'm gonna try to jump through it. Can't, can't stay for the party. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, 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 ow. Uh, yeah, jumping through oh. it just hurt a bunch. Yep, that's all right. I got it. Oh, that's, all, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's enough. <laughs> ah. All right, let's float around and see if there's anything else like decomposing and like really out of the ordinary here. Okay, okay. Hmm. I love whacking stuff with my ship. I know. I, you can just break these these things if you fl fly into them. All right, I just scanned again. There's another. Yeah, another ring here. So they're like everywhere. Weird. They're kind of like the waypoints of the area. Weird, weird, weird. Yeah, another one here. Are you gonna discover this one too? Or you just no, I mean not worth. Give it, a, give it a flyby, check it out. Yeah. Just yeah. that's just really cool to see. Yeah, it is. Right, let's give one more scan. Maybe I, I assume it's gonna be a pretty similar occurrence, where we're just gonna find a whole bunch of those old circley portal things. Probably. This is insane. It's just these pillars throughout the entire system. That's it. Some of them like move. They like float lightly. This is a field of them right here. Yeah. All right. I think that's it for the race planet. That's pretty dope. All right. Jumping into space. I want to go to the space station. Let's To do show it. you guys the decomposing space station. It's really cool. It's like if you ever played Halo and you played the flood missions. Personally gave oh, me nightmares God. when I was younger. Me too. Um, and on top of that, I hated them. They were the most annoying missions in the world, especially when you had a replay that was on Legendary. No, thank you. Terrifying. Um, this is very similar to that. It, you'll see in a minute why. It's kind of got this like, like sludge going on, and like things are like overgrown and kind of weird. It's a real spooky vibe to it. And you'll see the lights are out. They're all red. It's like emergency lighting. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty weird, and I'm not sure why. I think, like I said, like see so you, you see that erased planet there. That's like all broken technology. I assume space station similar, like. This used to be a thriving and affluent area until somebody did something wrong with one of these planets, which I assume would be that erased one if you wanted to just have some dumb backstory that makes no sense, and obviously it's just procedurally generated, but I like to give things a story sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Could but be yeah, something behind it. If you look at this space station, there's like pieces falling off of it. Like, it's not going to survive much longer up here. Yeah. All the panels coming off. It's like uh, ripping apart. From the inside, oh, yeah. Yeah, and if we see. land, you can tell that the light going in is a uh, weird uh, blue red flashing. So when we go in, you're gonna see it's everything's like, oh, yeah, offline. There's sparks flying everywhere. We're open, but we're closed. So yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, all the shops all on the, the left or right are closed. Like there's all nothing. All the lights are red. That's so spooky. You ain't see, you ain't seeing any ships land in here ever. No. Nope. So let's go out. ahead and jump on up. Oh man. Oh, look at this. I feel like I'm about to be killed by Darth Vader. T is light? Even my light won't work, dude. Uh, 
It's real dark down here. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, you know see the flood bubbles coming in. Oh uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh god. There's actually a Gloucester Trade Terminal in here. Always Selling normal stuff, pyrite. Buying all of it. Don't mind me. Okay. Don't mind me. Do you think we should look for a secured facility down there? There's gonna be a secured facility, probably a V2. We gotta find a V3. That V2. If we find a V2 and a V3 and then continue inside like a broken down space station with a V3, ooh. Yeah. I wonder what's behind them. I really do. I don't have a clue. We gotta we gotta get those cards, man. Yeah, that's that's our next step in this game is definitely get V2 and V3 cards. Yeah. It's gonna be a little grindy, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. I'm in the next side, by the way. Alright. Actually a station portal in here. So you could still technically jump to this station. Aww. So, yeah, V3 as well. What happened? I just did I missed the jump on my way over. Yeah, luckily I have the 100% movement, so I have double the backpack. Huh. Double the jetpack. Yeah, there's a portal to the left there. And that's oh, kind of, that's kind of it in this room, but look at this window. That's so cool. You can see the planet out there. Yeah, that is cool. The creepy eerie like creaking and I don't know, the fan just blowing and yeah. like smoke and sparks going off. They did a real good job with this. It's so spooky and cool. Yep, like I'm good. Like we don't we don't have to spend a lot of time here. I'm good. Right. <laughs> it's like, ah, I'll leave, please, thanks. You come out. Oh my god, it's just so awesome finding systems like this. It's like one one in a hundred, literally. Yeah, it was cool. I really like that. Well, thank you for stopping by today's episode. A little quickie, but a good one. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We gotta give you we gotta give you some shorter ones every once in a while. We can't just keep giving you these forty minute ones. All right, gotta keep you on your toes. Yeah, yeah we gotta save the good. You know, we'll show you gotta, the good planets. Yeah. Gotta, yeah, we show the poop ones. Yeah, if we just jumped again right now, we probably wouldn't. You know what? We'll jump again. Just for you guys probably want a longer episode. We'll jump again, and we'll show right. you if there's nothing you know, cool, we'll end. If there's something cool, it's like lottery. It's like YouTube lottery. It's worthwhile. We'll, we'll yeah, if it's worthwhile, we'll go. But if there's nothing, then heater. what are you gonna? You can't end on a heater. You're right. <laughs> it's like ending on a win. You can't end on a win, but you can't end on a loss. That's why you say another one. So, yeah. where do you where do you want to go? What color? Uh, what color system? I just picked blue. You pick the next. There's one. another blue right next door, so I'm going for another blue. All right. All and the, right, in the last right. episode, if you guys, like I said, if you guys missed it, the playlist link in the description down below for previous and future episodes. If you missed any of them. We did explain what each solar system does contain. Uh, blue ones do contain more exotic, like, uh, plants and stuff, so... And, uh, apparently they also have really cool planets, such as the one that we were just on, so... Yeah. But they don't have the highest chance of exotic planets. Forsaken if you want to find planet. really cool planets, you want to go to red ones. Forsaken? What does it even mean? It just means it's about to Forsaken. blow up, probably. I don't know what they mean. Probably means it's about to blow up. Yeah, Forsaken, Pure Ferret, oh, Activated oh. Indium, who cares? Hey there, big boy. Oh, the one right behind? Life Incompatible Planet. Hmm. That Not sounds like sign. hell. And then this red one back here. Poisonous Planet. We'll try the Life Incompatible, just out of curiosity. MS3. Which one are we going? As the number one resource is Boomer. Salt. So, rip. It's perfect. Yep. Life we'll incompatible. Yep. So you think there's just gonna be no trees, no animal, no flora, no fauna? Yeah, probably not. Just rock. Pretty barren. Yep. So far, yeah. It is literally. There's like not even atmosphere. It's like dark. There's not even anything. Like yeah, yeah there's the there's no at the there's no atmosphere. This is space. We're literally landing on a rock in space, is what this is. Cool, let's do it. Like, get off, and like you can see like the planets above you perfectly. It's yeah. airless. This is actually pretty cool. You got, can you jump for a while? Oh yeah, dude, when you jump, Whoa! you Whoa! Yeah, yeah. So Wait, what's this over here? So that was low atmosphere. It's a creature egg. <laughs> do we open it and shoot the aliens? Here we go, get ready to shoot aliens. Ah! Oh god, and we pissed off the sentinels. Oh, that, you can blame that. I'm getting back my ship! 
Peace out, Christian. Have a good Why one. Just yep. See you later. Dude, the, the low, Have a great the time. Atmosphere is so cool. I know you jump real high. This would be a yeah. cool planet to live on, just because you have that that like the no atmosphere vibe where everything's just kind of dark and blue, and you can like see the planet like right above you. It's pretty dope. Yeah, it'd be like living on our moon. Oh, I'm glad we jumped then. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the ape, dude. Yay. That was English, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>